Hi, you're watching Sweet Talk with Rachel, and today's topic is going to cover how to set up and configure your Construction Suite software. For those of you who are newer users of Construction Suite, these are some good first steps to add new users and update your company information. To get started, you'll simply go to your Tools menu, Set Configuration, where you'll see both your company information and user configuration. Now we're going to take a look at both of these settings within the session today, but let's start with our company information. In your company information is where you'll be able to update your company name, add tax IDs and license numbers, include your company address. Keep in mind that this is actually going to be the address that appears automatically on most of your contracts and documents that are produced within Construction Suite, so it's important to show exactly as you prefer. You also have the ability to add any custom fields, so for example, if you wanted to track additional details about your company, you'd be able to insert that information or add your own custom fields here and configure your email settings. Most often, we're going to configure the email settings that are sent from Construction Suite to go through our own UDA servers. But for any reason, if you wanted to change those email settings, you can use a custom email setting to navigate through one of your own routers or servers instead. You'll notice that we have a few settings already pre-configured. So if you're using a Gmail account, for example, you'll see that all you'll need to do is enter in your username and password. Otherwise, you can set up a current configuration and include all the information like server name, port number, username and password, and hit test and save to make sure that those have gone through successfully. Again, most cases, routing through UDA email servers are going to work just fine, but you have the option to update those at any point. Once you've updated your company information, let's take a look back now at the tools and configuration and look at our user configuration. This is going to be particularly useful when you're adding new users with multiple licenses of Construction Suite. So if you're in the scenario where you're having multiple licenses or multiple computers that run Construction Suite, it's important to add different user accounts so that you can all be logging in with your own username and password and accessing the same information. In most often cases, your default username is going to be admin without any additional information. You can either leave this as is or select the pencil button to edit those settings. For example, I'm going to change my username to my first name. Here I can set my password, determine whether I'm not a, or not I'm a user administrator, and include any additional details. You'll also be able to enter an email address and phone number for text messaging through Construction Suite if you have our Total Care membership service. This is also where you can link your Construction Online accounts for specific users. Once complete, go ahead and click OK to update that setting. So now you can see that the admin account has been changed to mine instead. I'm also going to go ahead and add a new user. Um, my colleague here, Ben. Now I want to leave Ben as a user rather than an administrator. The difference here is that the administrators can edit other user accounts. They can also edit the report templates. So if you wanted to modify your letterhead or update one of your contract or proposal templates, you would need to be an administrator in order to do that. Also, for those of you who have corporate, developer, or network and enterprise levels of construction suites, you're able to assign or set permissions on given files and projects, and only the administrators would be able to do so. Once you've updated the settings, click OK, and you'll see that your second user is going to exist as well. Now, there is no limit to the number of users, so you're able to add as many as you prefer, and each user is going to log into Construction Suite when they first open the program. They're typically going to see this menu here, so you can see that I'm asked to log into Construction Suite by providing my username and password. This time, we'll log in as Ben and click OK. Voila, now you can see we're logged in as Ben, so any changes that we make are going to show Ben's name rather than mine instead. That means anytime I modify a file or update an existing document, it's going to show that it was created or modified by Ben um, or the user that I'm logged in with. That's all for today. It's very simple to get started and update those user accounts and change your company details and address information.